I just got this free gift, a North Point multifunction radio lantern. It has 12 LED as a lantern part and 4 LED as a flashlight. So press the top, the lantern part goes on. Press again, flashlight. It also has a uh, radio, AM FM radio. So it runs on three D sized battery. But knowing me with all the solar charging devices, right now I'm charging my helicopter with the USB from the my solar power pack. Uh, I am also making the solar option available for this lantern here. The solar panel gives out let me just hook it up here. Without the load is about five volts, which is what these batteries would just about give out when they are new. So Theoretically, I can use a solar panel, which I am currently using for my fan, to operate my solar lantern. And it is very simple to connect the connections. Uh, I have the negative wire in the bottom. And I have found an easy way to connect these uh, contacts. This is the positive. Let me just turn the radio on. So what I do, I just, I just put a neodymium battery here at the positive. And if I want to connect something, just take the contact. That's it. The negative contact is a spring loaded contact. So it's easy to clip something, you know, to the back. I guess I can also make it magnetic too. But the positive contact is not spring-loaded. You would have to uh, solder something onto it to make the contact. And taking it off would be a pain in the neck because it's soldered on. So theoretically, you can put a new dimming magnet of the right size, this one is slightly bigger, so it's not really ideal for, for this purpose, but I'm just using it for demonstration purpose. So, plug this in here, turn the radio on, or you can uh, turn your flashlight on. So that's the uh, use that I found for it and the uh, connection I think would make it easier the magnetic connection and of course all this runs on solar I think it makes it even more interesting so I think it's somewhat forgiving 5 volt, 4.5 volt uh, it will work just the same. This one is, I forgot, probably a 5 volt, um, 250 milliamp solar panel. I think you can get away with a smaller one, but this is what I have. I think you can also put rechargeable batteries into it and also recharge your solar lantern that way. Okay, thanks for watching.